Hi everybody, welcome back to Creative Image. Today is our first episode of our bridesmaid series. My best friend is getting married and I'm trying out some bridesmaids looks for her bridesmaids. So today we're gonna do a subtle look, one that is a little bit glammy but doesn't outdo the bride and also just looks perfect so let's go ahead and get started okay so with our freshly washed skin we first want to prep the face that's going to be the most important part most important step of the whole look uh, we're first going in with the Maybelline new baby skin and this is just going to give us like a light feel and then also cover those pores we don't want to see that so I'm just putting a little bit on my finger rubbing that together and then tapping it over the whole entire face. It also helps with the wrinkles, I must say. Okay, I'm just taking a little bit more, rubbing it together, and then just spreading it out on the whole entire face. After that step, we're going in with the Pro Conceal from SFR color. Uh, this is needed because I have some nasty visitors on my face and this really helps to hide the red spots. Okay. I'm just going in with my index finger and I'm just going to type, type, I'm going to type a message. I'm just going to tap lightly over it. Okay, next step is bronzing and highlighting. I like to do that before the foundation, just so that you can have more of a blend in effect. I'm going in with the Avon True Under Eye Brightening Illuminator. This I'm using today as my bronzer and my contourer. <laughs> I'm gonna do that everywhere that I normally bronze. And now I'm ready for battle. <laughs> and then just by the nose to make it appear just a little bit narrower. While that is drying, I'm going to use the Pro Conceal from LA Girl in high definition. definition. <laughs> it has like an orangey tone to it, but I'm putting that just under the eyes. And when my cheeks are a little bit red, just to color correct. And then on all my highlighting areas. While I'm busy with it, I'm somewhere going to use it as a eye prep too. Just so that all the colors blends in. And then I'm going in with my Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty? Huda. That sounds quite cool. But Huda Beauty brush. And I'm just going to blend that in ever so slightly.
Okay, contouring done. Now next step is foundation. I'm going in with the Avon True Flawless Ultra Matte. This is in the color Light and Nude. And I'll be mixing that together with the MAC Matte Liquid Foundation. And this is in the color NC25. So I'm just tapping it over the areas. On the face, remember we're doing the whole face and the contouring was just prep work. You don't want it to look so terribly contoured. No. So the foundation will help us blend out that contouring effect now. And then our MAC foundation is a quite nice applicator. So I'll just go in between the spots I already made. So I'm mixing the colors just to get my right foundation color. Otherwise, it won't match my skin. <laughs> and this is the finished look. Now we look like a polka dot. I'm going in with my beauty blender and then just blending that out all together. A little bit tap motions. I'm also going over my eyes with the product so we can blend out our eyeshadow quite nicely. Do so you always need an eye prep or just some kind of foundation or such? I'm going to put powder first just so that you can actually blend out your eyeshadows because your eyeshadows needs quite a lot of blending. That's the number one rule. And um, so that's why I always use the foundation and not really an eye prep. Um, but what you can do is you can use the eye prep because it also helps to have the eyeshadow not crease. So that's why it's actually designed to do. But I'm just a all-in-one kind of girl. So here it is. I'm going in with a fluffy brush and my banana powder. I'm going to put that all over the face quite thick, like a baking method. This will just ensure that the foundation doesn't melt or move during the day because it is for a wedding. You don't want that. I'm going to do that on the eyelids as well. As you can see, the foundation is already creasing. Silky smooth. I'm for eyebrows. I'm going in with the Brow Eyebrow Palette made for me, also from F SFR <laughs> color. And I see it actually comes with a lot of whoop, stencils. So there's actual stencils for your brows. I don't think mine fits in there. Nope. Let's see the others that they have. Oh, okay. So they're basically all the same shape, just like different thickness. Oh, yeah. Slim high arch, medium arch, full arch. Maybe I'm a full arch. Let's see. No, I'm my own arch. <laughs> 
So it comes with the three colors and then also the wax. So I'm just gonna take the little brush and brush the hair upwards and sideways, almost like a shaping method. But it's not a, okay. Ugh. Let's try to put on the wax. So the wax, I think, is just supposed to keep the shape that you put it in to. Let's just see. I don't know what the wax did, but I used it. So that counts. <laughs> okay, so a shade darker than my brows. I would say we'll go with the almost black color. Just gonna put a little bit on the applicator brush and then draw my line. Oh wow, that's dark. It's dark, but let's do it. So in the front of the brow, I'm just basically blending out the product that's already on the brush because we don't want it too dark by the starting point of the brow. That doesn't look too bad. Let's do the other one. That was intense. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender ever so carefully brush down. So I can perfect the tail end of the brow. This one actually awesome. This one I'm just gonna tone down a bit. Okay, there we go, that was brows. Now that our eyebrows are done, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Nude in the color. Let's see what we're gonna use. So first, of course, we're gonna prep the eyelid and we're going in with, if it wants to open up, with the color B. It's higher lid. Also, like I said previously, for blending purposes. For the outer corner of the eye, I'm going in with the Fix Eyes Eyeshadow Duty Girl Metallic Texture Palette. And we don't really want to go with a black today. We're doing a, a smoky eyeshadow, but a black is going to be too much for, you know, a bridal fee. Um, also, you don't want to outdo your bride. So, rather keep with subtle, subtle colors. I'm going in with a light color first, this one over here, and I'm picking it up with a brush. So that's gonna go in the outer corner of the eye, into the crease and outer corner. Now 
Then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker colour, just here, picking it up, also within the crease and outer corner of the eye. That would just darken it up a bit. Then I'm going in with a little bit of a bigger brush uh, within those areas that we just blend and then going in with a dark brown. That we're just going to tap, 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 tap within the areas that we already blend out. It's not as dark as I would like it, so we're just going over to this side and picking up the darker color. We're gonna drag that towards the middle of the eyelid. Then we go in with our Essence Eye Blender brush and we're just going to blend all the shadows together. Just to give it that smooth look. I'm then going in with my normal highlighter and a normal eyeshadow brush. Just picking that up and then we're going to put that in the inner corners towards the middle of the eyelid. I'm also going to pick up that highlighter to put on the brow bone. I want a little bit more of a shine, so let's just see if in the Huda Beauty there's something I can use. Uh, I'm going to use the Charmed, I'm going to pick it up with my finger and then just place it between the highlighter and the outer corners. That gives it a much sparkly effect. You can see I'm just tapping lightly in circle motions. That's beautiful. So just for underneath the eye, I'm also going in with that chant and placing it on the inner corners of the lower lash line. I'm 
And then with my little bit bigger brush, I'm going back in that color. If this palette wants to open, wow, I'm gonna break a nail today. <laughs> I'm going in with that darker color just for the outside corners of the lower lash line. Because this is a bridesmaid's look, I don't want an extreme eyeliner. So I'm going in with the eyeliner rose and we're going to draw actually just a little tiny line within the outer corners. Okay, so no extreme eyeliner, that means no extreme lashes. So today, I'm not gonna put on falsies. You don't wanna outdo your bride. You want to look subtle and just compliment the bride. I'm going in with my mascara. Today, we're using Avon Mark, big and false lash. Going in with our angle brush and just adding some bronzer. Then going in with a fluffy brush and then adding my. So I can't even talk when I smile. <laughs> the apples of the cheeks with some blush. I'm then going in with the same highlighter and my highlighting brush. Then I'll apply the top of the cheeks as well as the nose, top area of the forehead, <laughs> on top of the lips and just a little bit down here, you don't want it too shiny. As the face done, now I want to go in for lips. Today I'm using the Stella Stay All Day lipstick. Um, we're going to start with the outer corners of the lips. I'm going to drag that inwards. With the top lip, I like to do my little heart first. And then skip right to the corners. give the lips a 3D effect, I'm going in with the Avon Color Trend and the color Lucid. 
replacing that just on the lower lips in the middle. Here we go. And to set everything in place, we're finishing off with the Avon Makeup Setting Spray. Just spray that all over. And that's it for our look today. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of our Bridesmaids series. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Bye!